Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jesse Lipson from Raleigh, North Carolina. So I don't know about you, but Donald Trump's acceptance speech left me with a lot of questions. For example, where is this losing country he keeps talking about? The America I live in, the North Carolina I live in, is a creative engine where the innovative spirit is alive and well, where nearly all net new jobs are created by startups, where you can still make something from nothing, like I did. I taught myself how to build software on nights and weekends. When I was 26, I started my company with just $100 in advertising. Today we're in more than 100 countries and we've created 800 jobs in Raleigh. <laughs> Donald, I'm also a businessman. You build skyscrapers, I build in the cloud. But it's clear you don't understand something simple about business. Nothing scares away investment like hate. <laughs> Disgusting laws like North Carolina's attack on LGBT Americans are costing my state hundreds of millions of dollars. It's cost us the NBA All-Star Game, and it's also costing us talented programmers who are ready to build the future. I've seen venture capitalists who refuse to invest in our state. Republicans may think they're telling people which bathroom to go into, but they're actually telling people which market to stay out of. When I travel abroad, I hear people talking about legalized discrimination in America. Bigotry doesn't just hurt my state, it hurts our entire country. It's not just North Carolina. In Indiana, Mike Pence approved discrimination against LGBT Americans. So I guess you could say bigotry has created one job, the position of Donald Trump's running mate. Hillary Clinton knows what every great CEO knows. We're stronger together. That's why she supports a federal law protecting workers in the workplace, no matter who they love or who they are. She'll cut taxes and regulations for startups and small businesses so they can hire and grow. She'll invest in breakthrough R&D so the industries and jobs of the future are created here in America. She'll help lift the burden of college debt so young people can chase their dreams. I tell my employees all the time, focus on solutions, not problems. All Trump offers are problems. Hillary offers real solutions. America, there is no question Hillary Clinton must be our next president. Thank you. Good night.